Ooh, very, very spooky backlighting. So if I could put my head right in front of it. Oh, yay, now I look divine. Anyways, <clears throat> out here having my habit because uh, I got home from work a little while ago and uh, I'm excited as all get out. Um, there are perks to, uh, you know, two things. Working at a game store and having a big, big mouth. Um, because all I do is talk about shit that interests me. Yeah, you know, typically like most people do. Uh, last video, I name dropped a game and I even uh, started working on the game. And um, that's not gonna stop. I'm still working on that craft. But, uh, <clears throat> oh my god, I can't even talk. Uh, there's something inside that uh, I'm just dying to show you guys a uh, $1,000 board game. Yeah. You think I'm bullshitting? I will show you. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna stop right here, chop it, finish my cigarette, try to calm down a little bit, and then we're gonna go inside and we're gonna open this bad boy up together and catalog it just to make sure that everything is there. Um, uh, a good guy um, from from work, uh, I say from work, but he's a customer, uh, probably heard me droning on and on and on and on and on about this product and probably just wanted to shut me up. So he's like, here, take this, it's on extended loan, I'll get it back from you. It's like, okay. He's like, as long as it doesn't smell like an ashtray when I get back. And I was just like, <laughs> no problem. I smoke outside. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I figured a thousand dollar board game, I better check and make sure all the parts and stuff that are in there right off the rip, uh, before, uh, all of a sudden done because, uh, I don't want to be accountable for a missing piece of a thousand dollar board game. So, yeah, uh, let me stop here, finish my smoke like I was saying, run into the house, and we'll, we'll do a glorious unboxing together and check the components and make sure everything's there and see if we got everything in here. If we have a full set, full set, hands down, is a thousand dollar board game. I can't wait. Okay, here we are chilling out in my little game room thing that I got going on here. Um, better lighting, of course. And I'm doing this on the floor because I need the room. <laughs> this game should have a lot of components. And without, uh, let's see here. Can I flip this bad lad while recording? No, I can't. All right, so yay, more editing. But without further ado... <laughs> Man, it's just beautiful to me. I was 11, 11 when this game came out, but wait, there's more! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Alright. Oh. oh my god, I got goosebumps. I'm 11 years old right now. I am. This is 1990, I was born in 1979. I was chasing this game. Gosh, probably for the last 40 years now. And... Every time I look at it, the price went up. All right, little little playback. The last time I looked for this game was about two years ago, and when I looked for it in box, in plastic, eight hundred dollars. Obviously, this is not in plastic anymore. I did a search today. If this game is complete in an open box, and I will drop this in gladly with editing. Yes! Alright. This game opened with all components. Thousand dollar board game. I'll put it up. I shit you not. Top hit on Google. Sure, it might not have been the best. Because I didn't read through. But it wasn't even eBay somebody else's name. Then we got Colors Keep, which is an awesome extra add-on, but I'm gonna have to check. All right, so let me kill this music a little bit because, <laughs> oh my God, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my glorious day. I just turned off to the time machine and went back like 20 years. Holy shit, all right, let's see what's inside. Let's see what's inside. Oh, okay, all right. 
And bear in mind, I'm doing this on my phone like usual because I am poor. And a thousand dollar board game is uh, quite uh, something for me to behold and piss myself over just about. All right. So, first thing I love about Hero Quest. The first thing I love about Hero Quest. All right. Sorry. Wrong review. And open it up. Boom. Oh, gosh. Can you remember a day when Games Workshop would send you something with such complete English frickin' directions? Man. Games Workshop, what happened to you? I really don't know anymore. Alright. So, boom. Sargon. Alright, let's flip it over for the Boom! The piece of love is All right, yeah, good old Zargon. I, I would hope that's Zargon because if not, if this is the mentor. Mentor? <laughs> not to be confused with the Emperor from the Empire. <laughs> but I sure hope this guy's in control because it's all the shit's like under his cloak. I think somebody's. I don't know. I've been hero questing way too much lately on the brain. Somebody was trying to tell me that was Mentor in a video, and I was like, fuck you, that's not Mentor. Um, Jerry's got the white beard and everything like that and a very Gandalf look, but I don't know, man. I don't trust people in red cloaks. Unless they're Doctor Strange, apparently. Um, but yeah, when you have a freaking gargoyle, like, coming out of here. And, you know, there's Chaos Warrior and Chaos Sorcerer and Goblin and Orc counterparts and Femurs. Oh my god, that's a whole other story. Games Workshop. If you make these, I'll come over and blow you today because, pfft, see that stupid tail? There's nothing, nothing with that fucking tail. Because I've been trying to make my own copy Hero Quest, like I said. And I'm saving that. That is something different, you know. I'm, that's going to be for me. So, you know, one thing at a time. Right now, I'm still pissing myself over this. All right, so, Moomies and Zombies and Skeleton. All right, move it on. All right, the board looks to be in good shape. No tears, no nicks, no dings. And you know what? I'll show you. I'll give you a sneak peek here. My board that I made for Hero Quest is uh, actually doubling as art. <laughs> Hung it up on my wall here. And I just want to see. Uh, oh, wrong way. Not long enough. Not bad. If I do say so myself. Alright, but that's all I'm going to show. I'm not going to show you everything else as far as what I've been crafting. That'll be another vid. Alright, so we got one nice... It's a little curled. I ain't going to lie. Definitely a little bit of a bend. Um, But... Pff, eh, a guy like me can look, look me on something like that. Alright, then we have a covering tab, also known as the Armory. Armory, you know, buy your goods, buy your wares, which is uh, very short, because since we're talking about HeroQuest, we're unboxing HeroQuest, let's, let, let's have a little discussion about HeroQuest now, shall we? And Games Workshop again. What is wrong with that company? From a guy that runs a fucking game store... And I, you guys call me all the fucking time and email me all the fucking time. Take our products, take our products. I get people that come in here and want your shit. But why do you guys package your products in such a shitty manner as far as package deals and bundles? I don't get it. I don't get it. Give us a la carte and you got my business and I'll sell the people. I'll even buy the fucking terrain. You hear me, Games Workshop? I'm calling you out. And, all right. Anyways, that was a tangent in itself, forgive me. The original kernel for the the real tangent is uh, when I looked online for Hero Quest, I found out, you know, Games Workshop being a British company, um, that um, all the British people in the planet apparently got all the freaking games for it because um, in America, there's Keller's Keep and the other one is called Revenge of the Witch Lord. 
I believe. The Revenge of the Witch something. I don't know. But Revenge of the Witch Witch. Anyways, <clears throat> that was it. That was it, America. Turns out, in freaking UK, there is like four to six more of these. Um, which I, uh, you know, uh, found out through this awesome site. Um, definitely the name drop is called Ye Old Inn. If you're into Hero Quest and you're chasing the dragon like I am, as far as wanting to get some of that nostalgia and number berries back into your life, um, that was a good resource and a place to start because I started proxying a lot of crap. Um, speaking of crap, there's a bit of crap over here, and it's a little bit boring, but I'm going to find out at the same speed you guys do to make sure that this is complete, because if, like this, as I said, if this is complete, you got yourself a $1,000 board game, and how often can you say you have a $1,000 board game? Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Look at this! Homemade! Homemade stuff in here, too! Shut up! On graph paper! See? This is how you know it was 1999 because it was cheaper for graph paper. I'm sorry, 1999. 1990. It was actually cheaper for graph paper than it was to go get a copy done. Notes. Oh my god, I'm gonna read this now. A band of thieves has stolen the artifact known as Magic Glover. After that, they fled to the dwarven village of Mythol. They are hidden. In a no, they are hiding in a hidden cave beyond the village. You must kill the thieves and recover the gloves. Also, rumor has it that there is a dwarf in here who has a hidden shop. The rumor claims that he sells special items, but be warned for it is only a rumor. Huh. Wow, I almost want to read one more. I guess somebody else's stuff, man. I don't want to be nosy, but sorry, John. <laughs> um, okay, maybe not. All right. I don't know. That could be a love letter or something. That could be personal. It's like four pages of handwritten stuff, anyways. All right. So we got one quest book and uh, extras. Hey, thank you for ever wanting to write some quests out and one instruction booklet and the instruction booklets. I am hoping to find page five. Contents. All right. Money, 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 money. Let's see. Is this the money? All right. We have a total of 31 monsters, eight orc, six goblins, yada, yada. All right. Let's see if I can find the base. Oh, fuck yeah. All right. So we got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half, eight orcs. Well, just so happens I know a guy that runs a game store that can pull some glue right out of his craft and put that right back together. Just might have to happen. All right. Eight orcs. I will count that as eight orcs. Six goblins. All right. And I'll be damned. Two. Let me pull this back a bit. Three, four, five, six complete goblins. I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with the uh, the quality, I mean, that one guy had a break, but I've never seen it broke at the ankles like that. That's a new one. There's always the weapons and stuff that break off, so six complete goblins. All right. Next, we have three femurs, and these are the things that make me want to go and find somebody at Games Workshop and kick them in the nuts. Well, I should say kick them in their sackless freaking void where their nuts should be because, you know what? You know why these guys got canceled? I don't give a fuck what people thoroughly think, to be honest. You know, that's my thing about me in a nutshell. I really don't give a fuck. I do this shit for me. And if other people like to tag along and get a laugh with me and maybe share my humor or some shit like that, because I know I can be a little bit abrasive, but goddammit, I tell the fucking truth. The reason they got rid of this miniature line in particular is because uh, this race, 
was sired through rape. I know, right? Hot, hot button, hot button issue. But to scrap a miniature and a whole creed from like Warhammer and shit like that because they kind of fucked up on their origin story for these creatures. Change the story. Keep the miniature. I mean, really? Discontinue a whole miniature because you're afraid of some negative press? Change your story, for fuck's sakes. Anyways. <sighs> okay, moving on. Three femur. Good. Four chaos warriors. I can see those right here. And these guys are awesome. Looking. I've always been a fan of the chaos warriors. Two, three, and four. Let's get a little good shot on one of those guys. Just because I think they're sweet. Yeah. And keep in mind, this game was 1990. That is some pretty damn good mold detail for 19 fucking 90. Should I really be correct and say 1989, but the 1990 is when it hit North America? And sweet, let me show a dirty fingernail because it wouldn't be a freaking smoking DM video without some dirty fingernails. All right, moving on. Uh, we got four Chaos Warriors. We got one Chaos Warlock, which I used to have in one of my older videos. And then when I moved, I had them all painted. I sold it, didn't think about it. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Keep your toys, ladies and gentlemen. You grow up, people want this shit. Like I said, a thousand. Oh, one guy. All right, so we got uh, that. We got uh, gargoyle. We got skeletons. And oh my fucking god, these guys usually always break. But we got one, two, three, and four complete skeletons. All right, moving on to zombies. Zombies. Showing my age, but I don't care because I'm fucking showing you a game from 1990. I'm obviously dating. <laughs> But it doesn't matter. I'm beautiful. <laughs> Anyways. Boom. Two zombies. These zombies don't fuck around, man. That's like a... That's like a butcher's knife. I mean, that, no bullshit. Like, we ain't talking about butcher cleaver. We're talking like a butcher fucking axe, dude. Like, uh, you ever see... Uh... Oh, what the hell was that in that movie? See, I'm trying to make a reference and I can't even keep up with my own... Train of thought, so I'm all over the place. Apocalypse now. There we go. I didn't decapitate the fucking cow. Anyways, two mommies. Mommy? Mommy? Whoa. That ain't no mommy. <laughs> I don't remember that about the mom. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything more. Um, <clears throat> all right. And last but not least, one. Gorgoyle. Uh oh. Broken. Missing a whip. No face. Got a face. Open face gargoyle. All right. The whip was always common broke. That was such a flimsy piece. Let's see if I can put this on one handed without breaking it. There we go. Ugh. And that motherfucker is just like. Man, I already did like two lines. I'm like a half four old deep. What? Come at me. I swear to God, just those arms just flowing over. What? You got something with this? Almost does look like he's got a beer in his hand now, too. It's supposed to be the end of a whip, though. Oh, well. So, I don't know. Um, To be honest with you, uh, there's a putty. It's called green stuff. I could easily see myself going online. Uh, permission of the owner, of course. Because uh, part of me is like feeling like there should be like a story in, for board games or something like that. I wonder if this is actually in. Like, I know there's a board game museum, but I wonder if a copy of this is in there. It should be. Anyways, 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 anyways. Green stuff. And green stuff is like a malleable, moldable, uh, epoxy putty that they used to make miniatures uh i just so happen to know a guy that uh, runs a game store and he sells that shit so uh, i have some and uh i could make a whip some of the other shit i've been making with it i can definitely make a whip anyways all right components boom monsters 
Ching. One dirty thumbs up. All right. Um, moving down the list. One barbarian, one dwarf, one elf, and one wizard. Four heroes. That should be easy enough. One barbarian. Let's get the little good. Yeah. Wow, it's so freaking. You even got the freaking uh, the breakoff point from the original plastic. Jesus. I mean, I knew they played. And the sword is intact. I had two of these freaking barbarians with both of them with the sword broken off from an old video, if you remember. That's hilarious. That's, wow. That's. That is impressive. Um, so we got one dwarf, which not many people know about this guy. He's got his own little story. If uh, you're familiar with Games Workshop at all, Warhammer, yada yada, come on, focus on the dwarf, not the freaking box. Thank you. Um, this guy, um, he's got a little bit of notoriety. Um, I don't want to go too far in advance, but I see these right here. Boom. This guy is the original poster boy for White Dwarf Publication Magazine, which was a, a Games Workshop uh, magazine. This guy right here, this art, was on the first magazine. So, there he is. Good old White Dwarf. That's pretty, pretty bitchin'. All right, um... Next, we've got one elf with sword intact, with freaking brake lines still in the plastic. It looks like it was twisted off yesterday. That is the stuff, you know, you just got to kind of keep an eye out for. Well, what is that? That is different. Is that part of the... Yeah, that's a twist off point too. Wow. That's amazing. Good details. I mean, for a game that's... 27, almost 28 years old. I can't believe it, man. Uh oh, that is not good looking. I noticed that. I hope you guys see that too. The wizard with his arm held high. Ooh, he's definitely going to need some glue or something. Oh, his wrist doesn't look so good either. Yeah. This guy uh, might need a bit of emergency repair. A little bit of love, but it's okay because he memorized mending. He can fix anything. All right, we'll put you down ever so nicely. All right, All right moving on. We got 15 pieces of furniture supposedly up in this bitch. All right, all right, all right. Let's see here. Okay. There's. Two tables, so here's one table. Okay, okay, okay. It's uh, a part, but there's even the middle rod, which is another rarity. Uh, these are usually lost, gone, broken, mishandled. And there's the other half. All right, so, good. All right, two tables, one throne. Okay, um, all right. like I was saying, I don't know if it's in here or not, but I'll try to make sure I go through all these pieces. I don't want to miss anything when I'm doing this. Because, like I was saying, there's uh, middle pieces still missing, and that's uh, the issue I'm having for the throne right here. Also, the paper is quite malformed, but good little paper trick is if you take a little white glue, you can reform it if you've got a smooth touch and some patience. All right, so where is that middle piece? That middle piece, man. That middle piece. Hmm. Uh-oh. I don't know if that would be ruled as incomplete or not. I would definitely be happy getting a box even with that missing, but that is pretty, pretty miffed. 
All right, we'll keep moving. Uh, maybe I'll find it when we go. All right, so we got uh, one throne, one alchemist bench. Which one is that? That's this guy. With, I'm assuming the bottles go to him, right? Yeah. Alchemist bench plugged in. Little bottles plug in. Just took it out. That was another thing. Like you got to de decorate this. <coughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. Got to decorate this however you wanted. You got little skull pieces and bottles and stuff like that. And there'd be these little plugs for each component. Um, okay. Alchemist bench. Uh, after the alchemist bench, three treasure chests. We got one, two, three. And amazingly, yeah, one, two, three. All with inner inner freaking locking joint pieces that's i had it i had a set somebody asked me when they're at work i was talking about this as the other gentleman brought it in to give it over to me and uh you could probably just tell the excitement in my voice and everything as i did this and uh he was just like well how did you know about it and i was like well, i owned it and he says well where is it and i said well the it's one of those games that got a million components and pieces. Uh, I pretty much played mine to death. I mean, that's what it really boiled down to. Is uh, little pieces break and shit like that. And you lose them. And <clears throat> before you know it, the cat jumped on the table and ran off with her freaking uh, barbarian and chewed its sword off. Or whatever the case may be. Because I don't know why the barbarian always lost its sword. Alright. Anyways, um, we were at the chest. And after the chest, we got one tomb. Which is always... Awesome looking. That's pretty epic. And the cardboard bottom and everything like that, but not the plastic. When they did the plastic, they just really nailed it out of the park. Alright, one tomb. One sorcerer's table. Uh, which I think they actually changed the name of. From, uh... After the UK port, because maybe somebody over there in the UK kind of complained or bitched about it or whatever, because it used to be called an altar, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, um... Two bookcases. These are the bee's knees. <coughs> you know how hard it is to find these stupid things, even online, just the images. I almost just want to take it apart and just photocopy it. And use it as a template, especially since it's in upside down. Might as well. But I guess we'll I'll forgive him because looking at that handwriting the last time he probably played this game, he was probably in his early teens. Maybe even a preteen. Because yeah. One of these pictures doesn't belong. Alright. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, just for the image, I'll probably just photocopy this, to be honest with you. Because I've been looking for the wood grain, the texturing, all that shit. And I was thinking about painting it, but man, if I can just do this with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of GIMP Photoshop, I'm pretty sure I can make a pretty, pretty damn book, pretty damn good looking bookshelf. Spit it out, asshole. What's the matter? I'm too sober? All right. One cupboard should be next. No, oh, one rack is next. All right. Yeah, I just made a rack. You know what? I'm going to show you that, too, because I mean, it serves its purpose. I just made one, though, and I think it looks better, <laughs> to be honest. All right, uh, let me grab it. I'm already spoiling for my next video, but I'm already going 30 minutes into this because I'm enjoying myself, and I hope anybody else that's watching is, as well. But there's my rack, fam, I just made. And, uh, yeah. <coughs> Mine I based on a clear plastic. Well, it used to be clear. It looks like a little scuffed up. Probably just some of the uh, residue from the glue. But, yeah. I changed me, too. Ooh, anti fancy At least one of them did. This one. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Just made this one. Uh, this is just a foam board 
cardstock, toothpicks, little chain link bullshit that I actually had to piece together with some needle nose because it was like in little segments. And then I had larger ones that I clipped and brought down to size and everything like that. And the wheels are just paper, essentially, that's been painted up. And inside the circumference or innards is more foam board that I jammed toothpicks into and cut at the length I wanted to kind of give it that pulley mechanism so type of looking thing. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> I'm going to mount it on clear plastic because I wanted to be able to see through it. Because that, like I said, my board is almost like a work of art too. So I wanted to, you know, make sure it laid flat and you can see through it. I think I want. All right. Anyway, sorry. One torture rack. Ever be so mediocre? I mean, I don't know. I guess with the skull or the rat or something like that in there, it would have been a little bit cooler. <clears throat> but I'm going to call that complete. All right. Um, torture rack. One rack. Oh, it didn't even say torture rack. It just says rack. So... <clears throat> If there's a set of tits in here, all right, I'll be I'll be happy. All right, so one fireplace, bingo bingo, with creepy Uncle Lester. That always fucking. I think that's supposed to be Emperor, but I don't know. He doesn't look very noble. He looks pretty creepy. <coughs> Either that or Santa Claus with a trimmed beard. Fuck if I know. All right, this is another one that was always kind of busted up and janky, but and it's going to be the most difficult, I think, for this. I'm going to have to uh, just build a rack and then use some of the bits and pieces off of uh, like a weapons assortment type miniature package. But, yep, one weapons rack. And last but not least, bam, one cupboard. So... All monsters, heroes, albeit a little fucked up here and there. Glue seems like we're good there. All of the furniture is a solid, solid thumbs up. Uh, with the exception of maybe that inner piece for the, uh, what the fuck was it? Throne. We'll see though. We might be able to figure that out still. All right. Miscellaneous items, candlesticks, bottles, scales, skulls, and rats. Those are all put on and such. 21 doors, 5 closed, and 16 open. See, this is another thing about this game is these open doors, they usually got the shit fucking beat out of them. So we'll see what's going on here with that. got five closed doors one two three four five closed doors with accompanied uh accompanied uh bases all right um and then 13 13 closed doors five open 16 open okay so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Give this count. 16 in the box. Ha! In the other box with all the little extra door punch outs. Should probably grab that too. Alright. <clears throat> now that we get all the little plastic base parts that go to them, though, is another question. So we got to, uh, that, 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 that. And like I said, these things get beat up, malformed, but that's just kind of a ebb and flow of trying to own paper. <coughs> All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extras. One, two, three, four, five, five. Mm-hmm. So we're missing two of the plastic base pieces for this, apparently. Or 
Well, I don't know if that's going to be totally a deficit to the game. Like, if it's unplayable because of that. Hmm. I don't think it is, to be honest. And I don't know how many plastic pieces are supposed to come down with that. I'm assuming for each punch, there should be a little standy that it goes in, though. So, unless it's maybe in the Killer's Keep box, which is also a very big pers uh, possibility. We are one plastic door base, sh or two plastic door bases short. Which is kind of a bummer. But, not a huge loss. You can go online and probably find that for, I don't know, a couple bucks. Alright. Alright, 66 playing card, 24 treasure. I wish I had these earlier. I just want to fucking photocopy them all instead of making them all like a jerk off. All right, I'm going to put you down for a hot sec. Sorry about the view. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24 treasure cards. Bam. 24 treasure cards. Pretty lustrous. Beautiful treasure cards. All right. 24 treasure cards, 10 artifacts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 artifacts. Done deal. Alright, 10 artifacts. 8 monster. I see no monsters. So I got this other box. I'm not going to freak out yet because I also see other shit that's missing and something like too. So I see no air, no fire, no earth, no water spells, but I definitely do see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve chaos spells. Okay. One game board, check. One instruction booklet, check. One quest booklet, check. Four character cards. I showed you the one, of course, with the little white dwarf. Check. One information screen with Zargon on it, of course. Checked. One pad of character sheets. Um, it's not complete, but hot freaking damn actual character sheets. Check. Um, <clears throat> character sheet six. Right, combat dice, which was kind of a pain in the ass to figure out how I was going to proxy, because they're fucking trademarked, so you have to make them yourself, you can't just go to a, uh, to a dice distributor or manufacturer and be like, hey, can you make these dice that kind of look like a game that's been on a print for like 15 years? No, we'll get sued over it because, you know, people actually give a shit about that. No, they don't. The only people that give a shit about it are some rube like me that makes a fucking 30-minute video over it. But bam, six dice. Six combat dice. Two. Red D6 dice. <clears throat> check, check. Cardboard tiles. We got stairs. It doesn't even tell you how many. Ew. We got block squares. Okay, pit traps, okay, secret doors, check, seen it, falling block, skulls, and traps, okay, that's good, and an extra garbage die, alright, so, we are missing spells, not terrible, I actually made, made those already, <laughs> myself, um, but hope is not lost just yet, we still have Keller's Keep. And what lies inside Keller's Keep can be vast and untold and unknown riches. Box itself, uh, mm, definitely seen better days. Hold on a second. Come on, here, give me! Just get that stuff in! There, another, I'm getting in there. Alright. <clears throat> One Keller's Keep Quest book. Or, oh! oh! That's right! That's why he would be two bases short. That makes sense. I forgot Keller's Keep. You get 
the iron door. And the wooden door. So, each standee in there, because you play it, second, makes sense that along with let's see one, two, three earth spells, ah, ah, ah one, two, three fire spells, ah, ah one, two, three air spells, ah, ah, ah and one, two, three water spells ah, ah, ah well, ladies and gentlemen, that will officially make one complete copy, albeit a bit dinged up, a little bit. Uh, as for me as a collector, though, <clears throat> I would have to give this a solid like 8 out of 10. Um... All the components are here. All the freaking pieces are there. If they're broken, they're still there. You can fix that. Uh, the only thing that's missing, and I haven't gone through all this yet, I will shake it up just to check, is the little connector piece jive that goes right into the bottom there of that hole and plugs into the other side, like such. Uh right there so there might have been actually it looks like there's two holes so it might have been two pegs um considering the piece the part the fact that you could probably just stain or paint a toothpick and then use that to glue it all together uh you know if you broke it off on opposite sides i would I would do that myself. Uh, if I get permission from the guy that owns this, I will. Uh, I will give it back to him in better shape than he gave it to me if I possibly can. Because I respect it, you know? It's it's great. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so. Do we have a components list and colors to keep, though? Components. All right. Two. One two-sided iron door. Well, we figured that one out. One two-sided wooden door. We got that one. Four short store windows. Yeah, four short stairway tiles. One, two. And they call them stairway tiles, but these are just... This is this is where they started cheaping out. I mean... It's... I'll show you, but... Yeah. All right. So, yeah, we got four stairway tiles, right? But, all right. This is what I mean by like when they started to cheap out. Here is an original tile from the base set. And then this, pff, you probably just look at it, but that is literally paper thin. Just cardstock. And I was worried about doing it with cardstock alone when I was making my components, but damn, here we are. Almost 30 years fucking later, standing up, <laughs> putting a box. All right, so four shorts, two longs, one cliff. Woo! That I'm definitely going to photocopy. Because I needed this. Oh, you know what? It's going to be the same jacked up size. Because Hero Quest is in 25 millimeter. As opposed to 28 millimeter, which is an inch or damn near close to it. So the difference is like how many millimeters go. Like how many. Like when you did the. When I did the math, it was literally like. 98% onto an inch, but just off of an inch. So I did my shit in an inch, you know, system because we live in fucking America and uh, we use that shit. Even 10 artifact cards actually cut. Yeah, I've done that a lot lately. My fucking hands are broken from fucking scissors lately. All right, so we got spell cards. Put those over there. Alright, so we got that, we got, where is the stupid, yeah, giant boulder. Eh, where comes the worst, who cares, but, all these piece of shit tiles, these things are terrible. I'm gonna cheap out. Give everybody, like, oh yeah, these are gonna be awesome. Might be why they didn't catch on over here. Maybe why they stopped, because people got tired of their faulty bullshit. Yep, there it is. One paper thin boulder. Alright, uh. So hey guys, what's going on? Uh, 
got a little bit cut off there. Uh, I think I ran out of memory or something like that, deleted a few things off my phone, and we're up and running again. Uh, but my phone is also dying. So I uh, just wanted to wrap this up and just say thanks for coming along, and uh, big thanks to John for uh, hooking me up here to let me play this game. And uh, like I was saying, I want to try to get us okay to make sure it's all right if I sort of uh, doctor some of these pieces back together. Uh, I'm sure you probably won't have a problem with that. Um, and uh, thanks to you guys for coming along uh, and enjoying this moment with me. Hopefully somebody enjoyed it and uh, as much as I did, or at least a fraction, because, uh, wow, um, just taking open that box and uh, it was like jumping in a time machine for me. It really was. I did just all these memories of uh, being back in uh, on Woodbine Street in Redford, uh, playing with the uh, the weekend friends uh, over at my dad's house. And I would go over to his house on the weekends and uh, just play the shit out of this game. Uh, I would say at least at least for three months every weekend straight and that's that's low ball in it I mean it's just one of those things that uh, it was the gateway for me to get into Dungeons and Dragons uh, my brother and his friends were about eight to ten years around that age category older than me and uh, you know I was just too young and I understand uh, but when I saw this uh, phew, I knew what I wanted <laughs> I knew what I wanted and I wanted it bad and uh, I was lucky enough to uh, have some decent enough folks to be able to get it for me. And uh, who knew? Who knew? All I can say is uh, the lesson from this, I would say, is uh, instill value uh, on your toys. You know, um, don't let that shit go because you never know how much uh, people will miss it. Like this game, apparently a lot of people miss it. You know, willing to spend a thousand dollars for a complete copy. Um, nah, you know, it's just they say some things money can't buy, but I'm all about nostalgia and everything like that. But I could, I could. First off, it's just let's be real. I mean, I, I could use a thousand dollars for a lot of other stuff instead of buying a, a board game. That's for sure. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy. I uh, just uh, I feel like it got that after after uh, Christmas morning opening gifts kind of feeling like uh, just kind of like zoning out, happy. Just I don't know. It was a uh, definitely. It's definitely been something worthwhile and awesome, um, and I look forward to playing it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Uh, the only downside I can say is uh, six combat dice. I remember that then, and then I still remember it now. Six combat dice when you have up to five people on the table, six six sided dice to uh, figure out who hits who and all that shit. <sighs> Sharing is caring, that's for sure. Um, anyways, let me wrap this up because I know this has been one long video, and hopefully this won't detract me too much from. Uh, getting my copy finished um my proxy copy and uh i can do a video on that and show that off and hopefully it won't be nearly as long uh because uh, i was savoring every single moment so yeah anyways as always thank you very much guys and have a good one bye